Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, so listen, had a new tool show up. I think it showed up yesterday and uh, the verdict is still out on it, right? I picked it up right now. I'll tell you the reasons why I picked it up. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe. I'm always doing these different hacks, putting tools together, trying to make quick work and efficiency in our businesses. And just looking at these different SaaS tools and getting underneath the hood and kicking the tires, right? So I had this new tool come through, it's called Moxie, right? And I think Moxie is uh, from, uh, they changed names, there was another company, uh, the name escapes me right now. And I'm looking at it and I'm trying to figure out if it's a good deal or not. Now it has six reviews, right? Already has six reviews and they're all five tacos. And I'll tell you the reason why they are five tacos. They have, I don't want to run it against Agency Joy, which I own already, and they had a little bit less than five, and I think there are some disgruntled people with Agency Joy. That's a whole other story. But Agency Joy has 40 reviews for a reason, right? Well, first of all, it's been here for a little while, um, at least 30 days, and Moxie's just showing up here. Now, uh, let me do a quick assessment on it and, and see what you if you should own Moxie and see if it does what you need it to do. Um, and I'm going to I'm not going to do a full blown, but I want to run some comparisons against Agency Joy. They're both um, CRMs. And so you may be wondering, OK, so what CRM would be right for me? Let me let me go over both of them really quick. And I'm going to tell you really quick. I'm going to try to make this video super short because I wanna still get into it a little bit more. Now, Moxie, I got into it. I gotta tell you, they're doing some things I really haven't seen before. I kind of liken them to pipe drive, right? Um, it's very thin, right? And um, they they have one knock on them. And I'm gonna see if you can figure it out, right? So when you look inside, right, they have a couple things going on. They have a form so people can enter into your ecosystem, right? And they can enter into your, into your, um, into your your actual sales funnel right um they have a little sequence here they do a little small decision making qualified leads i want them to come in i want you to figure out do they have a budget yes or no if they don't have a boy budget uh then send them here if they do then send them an invoice small conditional statements they do have for people coming into their uh system so i think i like that I like that you can pick them up from the form that they fill out and send them down a path, right? Okay, so I do like that. It's not intense, but it is a little lightweight and it does, I think it does what it needs to do, right? And so what they're what they're doing is they're matching you to their pro and their tier one, and then, then they match you to the teams for the tier two and tier three. So they have three plans here. They have a tier one, tier two, and tier three. Now let's look real quick at agency joy and again i want to make this video really really quick i think i did a video on agency joy already on the 88 dollar um crm you can do and if you go i'll put the link above for that i kind of did a an overview of this one too this is kind of sneaky good i don't think people are really picking up on this here's where i'm running into the challenge at though right so you may ask yourself which one and most people are very money conscientious right now in this economy. So you might say, look at this one. You say, you know what? This one for a single user, meaning one user, you have to pay 49 bucks for, right? So let's put these both on par with a single user or a solopreneur, right? Maybe a small team, maybe an, a VA, one or two VAs, or maybe a one assistant, right? So if we, we did apples to apples, this one's $49, right? And then we look at Moxie, it's $39, so it's $10 cheaper. They're giving you custom branding, custom white labeling, and you get one seat, right? So the one seat includes, I think, three email domains you could use, so I can send it out if I got three companies or may I have may I have a small company, I got three, three DBAs that I use with the email addresses doing business as. So maybe I do that and I get three of them. Well, with, um, Agency Joy, it's unlimited, right? I can set up unlimited companies, right? Literally from here. And I'm going to show you where the difference where these two separate each other, right? So one of the other things that I like that Agency Joy, Joy does is they're giving you Zapier, Pably Connect, and Incromat. 
they're giving you that as well as the back end and they're allowing the API to be open, APIs and integrations as well, according to their fair usage, right? You can't just be in there just burning up their API, making all these calls, right? So the back end is open. That's powerful. The, the back end is open. It's not only open um, just for APIs and you want to do some personal connecting, right? But they also give you Pably Connect, which is very uh, popular in the LTD community, and you get uh, Integromat. Uh, or make um, integrations, right? And they give you Zapier. A lot of people like to deploy Zapier because they say that's the fastest way. But if you're an LTD -er, you know you like the web hooks, you know you like a lot of other things you can use. So agency gives you that, right? Agency Joy gives you that, right? You don't get that here. All you get here is Zapier. To me, this tool is not ready for LTD. Now, this is a good tool. I actually like the tool, right? Got inside of it, looked around a little bit. I actually liked the tool. I didn't get a chance to break into it. The problem you, you have here, and um, a lot of people are complaining about it online, and it's, very, it's a very good problem. You only have one pipeline. You only have one pipeline, and they don't have any edits. You can't add or add any other pipelines. I don't have a pipeline for, a B2B, I don't, I can't separate it from a pipeline from B2C. You can't do that. But I mean, you can in Agency Joy, right? You can in Agency Joy. You have unlimited pipelines. You have unlimited uh, brands. You have unlimited emails. So if I was running a small agency or a small company and I wanted to have multiple brands, which that's what I do. I have multiple brands. Um, agency Joy is better for me as an individual. Now, what you're gonna see is the price changes a little bit because on Agency Joy, you're gonna see that it costs more to own for users. So they charge more for users where on a tier two, on a tier two for Moxie, they're charging $98 here for two users, right? So it's two individual users, maybe me and maybe an, uh, an RA or me an assistant. Where on Moxie, you go to the tier two and you get 10 seats or you get 10 users, right? So I can have 10 people um, um, logging into this. And I get the custom branding and white labeling, which white labeling for this, it's not white labeling, right? Everybody says it's white labeling, but it's not white labeling. White labeling is when I get to make your product my own. This is not what this white labeling is. I'm assuming that you could do uh, your email or something like that. That's not what this is, right? Why labeling on here is not why labeling, just so you know, right? So what they have, and what I'll do for you is let you know that what I do like about them is you can actually do unlimited proposals, right? And you can do invoicing and you can do signatures, right? And it has a feature in it. So they can, people, you can send a contract over to somebody at a proposal, they can sign it and it'll come back to you and you can send them down uh, a trigger and a path in there as well. You could set up, uh, I think they said unlimited calendars. Don't quote me on the unlimited calendars. I want to say it was maybe three to 10 calendars that they allow you to set up on here. So you can do the, the calendars and you also have a client portal. Those, so it really depends on what you need, right? I mean, if I had money, I can get them both for under a hundred bucks. And what I could do is I can get them. It's harder for me to get them. It would be harder for me to get them out. That would be a lot of manual work. If this tool stays around long enough, they're going to get enough pressure to do Pably Connect, which I'm hoping it would do. Uh, but if they wanted to get out of the LTD community and wanted to go straight, you know, into regular working with regular people, then they'll probably just stay with the Zapier. I don't know. I'm looking at the comments. It doesn't appear as though they have a need or demand to move to a Pably Connect, whereas agency, they already have Pably Connect, right? And so I've already set up a, um, I've already set up uh, um, an actual, when an entry comes in, as soon as I get a new account inside of my agency, Joy, right? I have them, as soon as they come in, I have an automation. Once they, they connect here, I send them to my Pably and my Pably connects them in with the in charge. Then I could do what I want to do as far as email drips and all that other stuff. 
So that's allowing me a lot more flexibility on the back end. So the thing is like this. So let's break this down as I close this. You either want flexibility on the front end or you want flexibility on the back end. And what I mean by on the flexibility on the front end is if you want to have send out proposals, if you want to have customer signatures, if you want to book them on your calendar, if you want time tracking, right? There's a tool right here. This is time tracking, right? If somebody was working on a project and you assign that to a VO, I mean a, a VA, and you actually have 10 seats for the, the tier two, then, and if you assign them to work on something for you, I can see this being very useful because your timing is all, all, all that's already busy. You say, hey, work on this client, work on that client, or work on this project and time yourself. This is great for VAs or you want to hire somebody to come in and kind of help you move things along. So what's funny is if they mesh both of these two together, this would be the perfect CRM. This would be the perfect CRM if you mix agency, which allows me to have uh, unlimited clients, unlimited brands, unlimited emails, and the back end is open with an API or Pabli Connect or Incremac. I, if I married both of these, or if I duct tape them together, I would be in business. Oh, my timing's still going. I need to stop my time. So yeah, and then the the um, and then you can keep up with your accounting here as well, right? This is what they have here. You can kind of keep up with your accounting. You can send invoices. Yeah, it's got a lot of built-in stuff. This is a self-sufficient system. I think where you run into a problem as an LTD -er is the back end is not open. If they open up the back end, give them a few months, give them a year, give them six months, which I'll give them at least six months, three to six months. If they open up the back end and add it a Pabli Connect, this tool will be would be dangerous. This would be a very, very good buy, very good deal. So, um, yeah. So as I kind of wrap this up, this is the agreements here. This is how your proposals can look. You can actually put them together on your own. You can put them together, sign that, and then you can have them sign it. This is crazy, right? I think I'm I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I should keep it or not. Agency Joy, I gotta keep. Why? Because I own multiple brands. I can send multiple emails to multiple brands. Now that they got the Pabli Connect, I can connect it with my Pabli Connect, send it over to my in charge or I can send it over to my in charge. If they come in on a different funnel, I might want to send them over to my VBOW. I can do that from Agency Joy. I can't do that here, right? And so I have to think different when I'm when I'm over here, right? I can't, my back end is not open. I can make a new agreement, have people sign it and do all that. I can put in timesheets, have people sign timesheets, right? But my pipeline is thin, right? My inbox is just okay. And I have my different projects here. Uh, we can go into the project and we can see what each project is, who's working on it, who's working on it. So again, this is more built for a small team that don't. So Moxie is built for a small team that don't like to do the, you know, the back end is not open or they'll do that manually or something like that. You can download here and then upload them somewhere else. Right. If you're just truly solo and you run a lot of different brands, I would probably go with the agency joy. I think it fits the solo better, but if you wanted to have something where you wanted to put some proposals, if you've been in, in, uh, in the Sumaling and or LTD community for, for a long period of time, you may have some proposal software that you already have that connects with a Pabli connect or something like that. So I can basically send them over from my agency joy into my Pabli connect into my proposal maker. That's a lot of moving around, but that's all you had. Then Moxie came and says, Hey, we're going to put it all together. Again, the problem with Moxie is I can't get out the back door. I can't do nothing else with this client. I can't even really nurture them like I want to. I can't even do email drip campaigns, right? Um, you probably could. It just, I don't see how you can in here. I mean, there's no, there's no way to, to kind of do that. Right. Um, there's really no way to kind of do that. There's no way to kind of do your drips and all that. And even in agency joy, you can do a small drip campaign, but if I want to put them in something on the, on the back and it's much more powerful, like an in charge 
or a um, a V bout or something like that, I could I could do I can nurture them a little bit different. I can tag them a little bit as well. So again, that's my kind of review. I'm gonna come back to this. I may need I may need to do another thorough video on this. I picked it out and started test driving it, started sitting with it. And I think I'm just I think I'm just okay with it right now. These are the insights that they give you. Um, this is pretty powerful if you run a small team. I think if you're on a small team, maybe three or more, this would be perfect. And then a tier two with the 10, the 10 seats would be perfect for you. But if you're just like truly just solo, just gun ho doing everything on your own, I think the age, agency, uh, agency joy will probably be a little bit better for you. So, Hey, hopefully this helped you out. I put a quick versus. It's not a serious versus where I didn't break down detail by detail. Uh, you have to figure out on your own which one is to own over a period of time. It's going to probably be less expensive to own the um, the Moxie. But you want unlimited everything, unlimited sins, and your business grows and all that. It's probably be better to do the um, the agency joy. Hopefully this is helpful. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank my members or my community. Uh, I'm going to do a little something special for you. I may, as a member of my community, I may, if you want me to, if you're a member of my community and you, you, you comment, or you post on this or let me know, I'll dive deeper on Moxie for you guys, especially for you guys. All right. Hey, you guys have been great. Jenny Jones. Take care. Goodbye for now.